Uh, I'm called Kutunga David Kijakare. I am principal agriculture inspector at the Crop Protection Department, the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries. Yeah, we are here in Arua, and the, the main reason is about to the the problem of uh, banana bat top virus disease, a uh, disease that uh, was detected here in Arua uh, in 2020, and. Uh, since that time, we trained the extension staff. All districts uh, in West Nile, where the disease was. Uh, and uh, currently, we realized that farmers have not been doing what is necessary. And we needed to come on ground. So we are, we are trying to do what we call plant heresy radis. Uh, we began from Nebi and uh, Zombo, and now we are in Arua. And the main important issue is to, to ensure that uh, we train these farmers on what to do in detection and also management. As you remember, as you know, this disease is spread through planting materials and also by aphids. So what we are intending to do is to ensure that they inform these farmers that they should not, trans they should not transport uh, infected planting materials from one garden to another. They should desist from doing that until they, they, uh, they have mastered the control methods we, we have been trying to tell them. So I had the team, we have a team of experts uh, from IITA, uh, from uh, the local government, and we have been really combing, uh, we have been combing villages together with the local government to ensure these farmers understand the management measures. And uh, where we have been, uh, every district at least we have been, every, in each rally we have been meeting almost over 300 farmers. And uh, we think in the next six, six, six months, we'll have realized some changes in terms of managing. We'll not be moving and finding standing banana, infected banana plants. So that's what we have been trying to do. And uh, because uh, the spread has been uh, trying to increase, but we think with this sensitization we have done, uh, after farmers knowing what to do in terms of management, they will be in a position to bring this uh, problem under control. And uh, the challenge is that we don't want this disease to spread from West Nile to the rest of banana producing hubs, uh, like in the central region, Ergon and Ankore. So we, all our efforts are here now, because when we succeed in West Nile, it will mean that uh, the disease will not spread elsewhere in Uganda. So our success here in eradicating the disease will mean we will have become successful and our people will be food secure. Okay. How can somebody identify this uh, banana band stop disease? And two, how widespread is it currently in West Nile? Uh, in West Nile, this disease, when we detected it from uh, Arua in 2020, uh, within four years it has already spread to Nebi, Zombo, Malacha. So wherever there are bananas now in West Nile, at least there are some incidences. So this disease uh, results into the stunting. If they are young, they, are, they become stunted and uh, you, it is called banana bunch because the leaves are supposed to spread. But this time with this disease, they just clump together and they look like a broom, which is, which is really, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which is not really the characteristic of bananas. And uh, it will not put on. If it has grown, it will not put on. Then if it has reached another level of growth, that it can be, it, it, it has already grown, you will find that this banana will put a very small bunch. So it is uh, such a problematic disease because uh, within a period of three years, once you detect a single uh, infected plant, within a period of three years, you will be having, it will have spread throughout uh, the farmer's plantation and the one will not be getting anything from that plantation. It, the bananas will look like flowers, because uh, ornamentals in this sense, because they will not be producing anything for the farmer. Lastly from me, now that a farmer has this disease in his garden, 
what best can he do so that you say transplanting somewhere but also in within his garden how can he uh, uh, manage them so that he doesn't spread further yeah. do we have to make sure those are cut off or is there a, a way of spraying them and the, the banana recovers what, what can best be done yeah the control is based on how this disease is spread so this disease is spread through the infected planting material so it means when an infected plant, you see an infected plant, what the farmer needs to do is to uproot the whole stool. If you see one single plant is infected, you don't need to remove that one that is affected. It is assumed that every other plant on a stool is, is infected. So you, a farmer has to uproot and also ensure that uh, uh, where the areas where the, the aphids hide, that is in the areas where leaves sprout from, uh, is uh, after after uprooting we cut that area and we spray it with a solution of soap it, 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 we don't need chemicals soap is everywhere and it can be available for every farmer and we use we use soap to kill those aphids uh, in areas where they, we know that they are hiding from okay. yeah. thank you maybe lastly we, we heard of the origin of the disease being from Democratic Republic of Congo is that the case yes is that the case? Yeah, yeah, the disease, the disease has been in Congo for almost 40 years, but I think it is now climate change issues. There was a very good territorial administrator there, eh? and then you can talk to that person. Okay. We want to see that this is addressed, because having this virus here going to affect bananas, and yet it is our source of livelihood, we cannot accept that. That is very, very bad. So please, move your offices here. Now you have only come for one day, you are going back, and yet this sensitization needs to continue. We want you to leave your resources here. The resources that you would have spent for coming on the road, put him to task. Drag RGC2 to the radio station. If you have those resources there, please, that's the way to go. We want to see that your office must be relocated here. My, you must create your liaison office. How are we seeing? If one of you could remain here <laughs> with him, because we don't want to touch you when you are from there. You need to be next to us, okay? When we are defeated, that's when we communicate to Kampala. We can give you office space in Arua, okay? If it is a question of having a wife, we can see what to do. <laughs> that one is gentleman's understanding. We will risk that, but I need to see my liaison office here. Just like Minister of Water and the Environment, they have their office here now. We also want to see the one of my. Please, you know, deploy some of your staff. Yes. 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 Do you have any inspector here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Then you let him increase his visibility. I'm hearing his name today. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for this support visit. Technical backstopping is very, very important. Please don't come once. Come again and again. And now you have done this. I want you to go back and do desk reviews. Come and put all the council members in one room. You will not pay rent. This one. <laughs> Invite them under this tree. They will prepare kettles of hot water and so forth. Do it here. The council members from the district, the council members from the sub-counties, free meeting room here. Go and plan that. Because now, if we shall have no bananas, then no job for you. Uh, but we must have bananas. Okay. Otherwise, thank you so much.